So we have got a story being told in the verse. I'm in heaven. Leave space for imagination. I'm in heaven. I owe money. Please pay for the house. He should be in the pool by now. I'm going. And it's, of course, it's not symmetrical because it's nature, it can't be. No. It's the mountains. Yeah. Yes, it's a, one could even experiment with introducing a little dominant here. No, it's too happy, it's too yeah, happy. Yeah, it's too happy. Yeah. happy. Yeah. Well, we could talk about harsh vocals. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But let's talk song. Today I have got a guest. We are here at 42 Gear Street. We and are. before we forget, let's make sure to include all the brand names so that we yes. don't have to later. Exactly. Um, the amazing ribbon mic that is recording the room is the AEAR88. It's impossible to pronounce. Apparently, this is already the easy version to pronounce. You did wonder. Um, it also says here, please mention Summer Cable. Thank you, Summer Cable. Um, thank you, Henning Pauly, for organizing yes, 42 Gear Street 6. We are both blessed yes. to be here. Yes. Um, speaking of both, Joe Braga. Yes. The amazing Joe Braga from <laughs> Paddle Playhouse is with me today. And we are going to talk song. We are yes, going we to are. talk one of your original songs. Now, mm -hmm. you are playing a fork. <laughs> is that, is that the a word? fork? <laughs> Guitar? I keep saying fork um, as in yes, like, you know, I, utensils. I will, I will be playing this beautiful <laughs> Dawina thing later on. That, See, I'm that just, sounds, uh, that rolls better off the top. Yeah, Dawina is just uh, a bit more pronounceable. Mm -hmm. And um, we're basically going to listen to one of your songs. Uh, it's, it's called Heaven. Yes, yes Let's go is. to Heaven. All right, let's there you do go. that. <laughs> Yeah. 
God in heaven Cause my heart is where I roam Road is where I find my inspiration The peak of Mount Hood I could still hear <laughs> Brilliant! Thank you. Heaven! Um, it's a killer song. Thank you. It has got... It checks all the boxes. <laughs> it takes tick, tick, tick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out what you're doing there. Yes. Um, starting with harmony, starting with chords. Now you're playing capo. Yes, I know the, the reason because it's weird uh, chords. I think it's uh, E flat, right? E flat we start on. Um, can you play the progression? Very cool. So, um, I don't know if you're aware of that. I don't know about your harmonic background. I don't know <laughs> what you, if you know what you did. Um, what we have here is a three chord progression. E flat, going to C minor, and then going to G minor. Now, the first remarkable thing about that chord progression is that we actually are in the key of B flat, without playing the chord. Interesting. So, this progression here... Oh, sorry. ...wants to resolve to B flat. Um, this is quite interesting. We yeah. have got, in terms of chord stage degrees, we talk about the fourth stage, the second stage, and the... Six minor stage. Now the six minor is a substitute for the one. Sometimes we also call it the sad one. Okay, so this is the happy home. This is the sad home, <laughs> which kind of makes total sense if you think about the meaning of the lyrics, where we are in terms of prosody. Now, um, it's basically that three chord song: four, two minor. Six minor. Mm. What I loved was the fact that, despite the fact that this chord progression doesn't change, mm. you can still very clearly hear the difference between verse and chorus and basically also woo woo tail. Yes. <laughs> right? Uh, would you mind playing like one or two lines of the verse? Sure, I can. I'll just go from the beginning. So it all What's super fascinating with the melody is that it's basically a one-note melody with decorations on the side, <laughs> but it's basically hammering that D in. That's the shape the of shape the verse. Yes, yeah. It's always that... And that one comes back in the chorus. I'm in heaven. It's always this. 
interestingly enough, a lift yeah. to heaven. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. I love how you changed the third line intuitively because you knew you couldn't repeat heaven throughout the course. No, you can't. Yeah, they always... <laughs> uh, something else, something else, oh, I'm in heaven. <laughs> yeah, for me, when it comes to, like, songwriting, it's like I knew, basically, I wanted just a backdrop because for me, when it's writing, it's more my voice was really the focus yeah, of, like, absolutely. when I'm singing yeah. because... Always historically and practicing and playing in an acoustic band that I did in the four times. Uh, the thing is, like, playing and singing at the same time takes more effort for me. I have to compensate. Oh, absolutely. So if I simplify reduce the complexity, chord, yeah, yeah, reduce yeah. the complexity so that I can not think as much and be able to belt or do things that I need to do. And if I'm not thinking as much of, like, what I'm playing here, then I can go full throttle, at least with my voice. Absolutely. And using it more of, like, the melody is more my voice than it is the foundational aspect of the song. The funny thing about it is that the other day, Mm -hmm. I released a video on the exact opposite. Really? How to write a song if you can't sing. And what I say in this video is reduce complexity <laughs> and melody That's so that you the have space carries. for lyrics and uh, chords. Yeah. Because th those are going to be your strengths. And with you, it's the other way around. Other way around how yeah. do you limit, because you are the one person performer, how do you limit brain space that is yes. occupied by the guitar? Absolutely, yes. I love it. Yes, so apparently it seems to be a thing. I thought, well, I'm doing the video. I'm yeah, some just, people can just do making up a and, yeah. rule. Apparently it's a tool that people use. So it's great to see that in practice, actually also with the opposite yeah, side like of Yeah, like I have to practice Amazing. that much yes. more with the guitar Absolutely. to be able to do both at the level that I would like to do both at. You yeah. know what I mean? And the thing is, despite the melody being mm. very sparse and reduced to that one pivot note you always go back to, not just in the verse, but also in the chorus, there is still contrast between both things. And this is all to do with lyrics. And I'm not saying meaning of lyrics, no, just but line length. Choice. So we have got a story being told in the verse. And that um, you kind of vary the melody as well with every line a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but basically it's here I'm giving a very clear description of actually where I'm at. Yes. And then the chorus, by reducing line length, helps making clear contrast because now we're talking metaphor. Yes. Now we're not describing what we see anymore, but now we are in the dream world. I'm in heaven. Leave space for imagination. Yep. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. It's, it's a bit longer, right? Yeah. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. Heaven. Yeah. I'm in heaven. No one can read. That's the dream world, right? Yeah. Same chords. Interestingly Escapism. enough, <laughs> absolutely. Interestingly enough, the fourth stage degree in terms of. Hello. And, and you can. can. And you can again. learn <laughs> all this stuff in the almost but not quite complete guide to songwriting available at spectreacademy.net. <laughs> all the things yes. that you can learn by now. Now here's the difference. <laughs> I'm humble. He bought a house on the songwriting money that we didn't get. <laughs> so, I owe money, <laughs> please pay for the house. <laughs> hey, come on, 52 hours? Yes. What, is it 2 dollars It's 2 dollars sometimes, yes. It, it, sometimes it's 2 dollars yes. Converted? Yeah, uh, pretty much, Two eighty. <laughs> it's an amazing value, and you can learn all these things. You, of course, got it for free because we love you that much. Fourth stage degree, how does it feel? I appreciate investing in my for, future. For, for, for what? <laughs> fourth stage degree. For what? Fourth stage degree. How does it feel? Fourth stage... That's not in the course. Is it evoking emotion? We're in the key of... B major. The, the chord doesn't play okay. a single time. Okay, B major. Throughout okay, the song. Yeah. What we hear is... Two. How does it feel? It's four, two, six. Well, 
Flodius. Whose who's channel is this on? Yes. Floaty as fuck. Floaty as fuck. <laughs> Thank you very That's much. Nice. His channel is his channel. Yeah, I like the ahead. question in advance. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I ruling? <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead. <laughs> Floaty as fuck. I mean, yes, beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. That's the thing. And uh, we are on a on an outside adventure, outdoors adventure. adventure yeah. Um, and we see landscapes throughout the Mountains. verses. Right? Please. And this smoking is... things. I'm out now. Have fun. <laughs> he should be in the pool by now. I'm going. This you is, sure? what, you this you is sure? what you told everybody yesterday and the day before. <laughs> yeah, and you weren't there. Floaty vibe. This is yes. what the fourth stage to That's always what I love. And um, it's most often it's intuition that brings us to that chord. It's not I want to write a floaty song and that's why I pick the fourth stage degree. No. It's just it feels right. Um, and shortening lines leave space for imagination. And this is, I don't know how much of this was intentional. Well, usually like when I'm writing, I tend to have some type of phrase length and I yeah. want to lock it in yes. so that like verse, chorus and everything, I want to be consistent, not like a bunch of words. Yes. And I've, I've wor been working with other people in another band. There was a thing where I was the one that was trying to structure their poetry or whatever because they Meter wanted was to... all over the place. Yeah, yeah. so it was mm -hmm. like, we need to have, if it's four, if it's like four or five words, then we need another line that matches yes. that so that we can separate the two. And then of course in the chorus, we need to again there have a structure of how it's saying yeah. so that we can again get something out of consistency and separation and we can find a way to communicate a vibe in there that might be a little different. I have a feeling that people playing in bands feel the need to find contrast between parts very early on. Because in the first rehearsal you want to say, let's try the chorus again. Which one's that? <laughs> <laughs> right? So, and you can't even say, well, the thing that starts on the E flat because all of them start on the E flat. So you have to find uh, contrasting elements. Let's play the heaven bits. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody knows what the heaven bit is. That's where it is. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And this is, um, yes, I think for people coming from band experience, this is something that you really have to log in very early. Yes. Great. We talked about chord progression, we talked about melody, we haven't talked about melody of the woo-woo bit, which definitely leaves this limitation and goes... Yeah. Ah, we go up. Ah, cool. And it's of course this nature call that you introduce literally, which is yeah. brilliant because it's like everybody, a, a everybody response, understands yeah. it. Yes, absolutely. That's the echo that the, the echo that, that comes the echo back. That the mountain gives you. Still you. Hear it, yeah. And you do two interesting things there. First, you change melodic shape because you have got, and it's of course it's not symmetrical because it's nature. It can't be. No, it's. The mountains, yeah. Yes, it's a, a roller coaster, right? <laughs> um, and then another thing that you do is you don't start on the downbeat. You give the chord time to ring, yeah. to ring and you we go know where we're going. almost like an echo in itself. Yeah. Whereas all the other parts before was or I'm in heaven, the downbeat was always very occupied. Mm -hmm. And then we remember the call and give the downbeat space. It's kind of the mirroring image of the chorus where the downbeat is packed and everything else is left for dreaming. I'm in heaven. Space, space, space. I'm in heaven. Here's the other way around. Where you have the downbeat free for the chord, for the music, for whatever arrangement you choose, mm -hmm. and then you have got this response from out of the wild. That, that that's yep. brilliant. That's brilliant. Really, really cool. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you about is lyrics. Yes. Give us the story in like two or three minutes, if that's possible. Yeah, Where does I'll the inspiration to... come from? And then we're going to talk about literal versus metaphoric, mm -hmm. because both are in there. Yes. <laughs> Um, basically, this goes back to in the before times. 
before times. I love the before times. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> before the days of our plague. Um, and we basically went to Portland, Oregon. And I had a friend that lived in Florida, and they moved out that way. So we wanted to visit them. And uh, is, she, is she the she that set you five miles on a ride? Yeah. New road? yeah. So uh, <laughs> they pretty much are mountain goats now since they moved over there, which I understand and I'd become a mountain goat too. If I lived out, I'd be... Given the opportunity, I, yeah, yeah I always, whenever I travel, yeah. I do the city last and I go straight into nature yeah. because yeah. I'm flat, it's Florida, forget it. Um, so in going there, she took us basically up to Mount Hood. Um, we basically climbed up the mountain. I think we got to about 6,000, but again, like... It was probably the farthest I could get away from everything. My phone had no reception. Good it thing. Was Good thing for creative. Yeah, it was yeah. absolutely beautiful being able to look over all the mountain range and, of course, all the greenery, the paths, like the trees, the different aspects of it. That's why people come to Gear Street, by the way, because of the terrible Wi-Fi connection and yes, they can yes, uh, it's, disconnect. It's legendary. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. Uh, they feel inspired here. They do. They do. You no have distractions. to focus. <laughs> um, but one of the other things that were there, what I found interesting, was they had truffle trees. So again, you think is. about uh, yeah, it's the way I was thinking about it was you think about Dr. Seuss and truffle yeah. trees and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, so sure. I always thought that was kind of cool, like yeah. childhood, like Absolutely. books and stuff like that. And usually, when it comes to like writing music and stuff like that. Um, I like that aspect of tying yeah. it through our lives and things that we're familiar with. Um, the other thing that was interesting, there was a one point when we were going up the mountain, um, there was a part of which you kind of took a risk of yeah. traversing across. It was literally stepping stones to get to the other side. So we were basically, I mean, it was a long way down if you missed. Um, another aspect about it, there was a side of the hill that was more like a glacier that you could slide oh, yeah. down. So we cut time by going down like 20 minutes sliding down that. So again, there was many ways in which we were free to do whatever we wanted. It was away heaven. from everything. <laughs> Nobody could reach me that would stress me out or um, any kind of negativity. It was just, I was with my friends, I was with my partner, and we were just enjoying being in a place that was so unlike. Brilliant, yes, back. and, th and this is what it shows in the music. And also yeah. the whole thing where we're talking about like, on the plane back home, yes. I'm not in heaven. And that, that's and the interesting that's, bit. Yes, that's the, it's the biggest sadness contrast. Then, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I the higher you get, the less you feel like in yeah. heaven. That, that's amazing. That's... Um, and this is the one thing that I probably producing that thing would suggest playing around with a tiny variation of chords. Interesting. I will hear. Because. Mm -hmm. Yes, it gives you floaty vibes. Yes. But do you want floaty vibes for this? Sober Sadness. ending. Yeah, the sad ending. Um, <laughs> Having to go back home. <laughs> the the thing is, you already have got the key in the chord progression. Because the two minor chord is actually the floaty vibe only a bit sadder. Okay, so we've got... So we're still in the key? Or we're yeah, absolutely, yeah. We're still in the key, but we have got this nostalgic two minor thingy. So if it's I'm in heaven, I'm and then we go. So it's it's then uh, on a plane back home. It's it's still on the the, the verse. Back home, I'm ah, yeah. Yes. So it's, on a plane back home. I'm not in it doesn't change much, no. but it gives it a little taste. <laughs> One could even experiment with introducing a little dominant here. <laughs> No, it's too happy. It's too yeah, happy. It's too happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. That Maybe you want that like for 80s. the yeah, yeah. <laughs> friends down the street. Yeah. Nobody will notice this. It's just that as a songwriter, it gives you that little satisfaction of saying, "Yes, I took two chords that are almost the same, mm. and for that one line, I chose yeah, to change the order. <laughs> Nobody will notice, and I still feel great about it." <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, literal meaning versus metaphor. Let's do that at the very end. Okay. Because what I find fascinating about the verses is when we look at the words, mm -hmm. they are super literal and super plain. When we look at the feeling that they evoke, yes. they are super dreamy already. 
-hmm. How does one get there? It's probably by describing a dreamy landscape, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's because if you, it's very, we saw it all through her eyes that day in the meadow, five mountain ranges, one behind the other, as she set us five miles on a winding road through truffle trees and steep ravines, ravines we yeah. climb, yeah. Um, so this is not, there is not a single word that doesn't mean what it's supposed to mean. Yeah, it's all literal. It's all literal. Maybe it's just that, the description of that. Hmm. It's just taking someone along. It's a real yeah. place. You can actually be literal and still evoke that feeling yep. of uh, let's go to Wonderland. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. Like as far as like when it comes to the steep ravines and truffle trees, like again, you're already getting like the nature and stuff. Oh, absolutely. But yeah. again, five miles winding road. There's a path. You know, just kind of through her eyes that day, she pretty much knew you know, that That's range it. itself, so, so... Maybe also, take it I, I, I can imagine that it's also because we tend to use that words as metaphors, winding road, mm -hmm. and once they are used in a literal sense, they come across magical anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because usually most songs, they're yeah, kind of absolutely. like, you know. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, yeah, so the long and winding road for, uh, for Paul McCartney is a metaphor. Yeah. It's not, it's not, he was not in Portland, Oregon. No, the trail. <laughs> like, I'm gonna walk this Maybe way, he was, I'm gonna walk yeah. that way, you know. Maybe they all spent their vacations in Portland, Oregon and wrote just about what they saw. Maybe. <laughs> Inebriated and non-inebriated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. We covered pretty much all that comes to mind after listening, listening to this for the first time. Joe, I had a blast. <laughs> As always. <laughs> thank you so much for doing this. Uh, thank you so much for giving me stuff to dissect and be nerdy about. <laughs> I need a, volunteers. I, love being nerdy. I need organ donors for that. Yes. <laughs> like, give yes, me, yes, you come yes, to yes, me. yes. You give me your me. your inner whatever. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's amazing. Um, I hope you had fun too. Oh, that's the most I, important. I bit. definitely had fun. Yes, and it, I knew. And when we were talking together, it was just like, yeah, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun to kind of dissect this and then get to kind of the heart yes, of even when it's like three chords. I mean, you can still say a lot with the way the structure and the separation can be. Absolutely nerd out about this stuff. This is I my spiel. Well. If it's not effects pedals, it's also songwriting. Absolutely, which, absolutely. Which, so it, That's uh, why I appreciate the, the song course and everything. Uh, I was like, I want to advance. So I'm like, it's yes, already and, uh, investing uh, in my we future. Tend, we tend to limit ourselves to this one trick. Yes. That we do, right? <laughs> I'm the songwriting guy, you're the facts paddle lady. No! <laughs> <laughs> we gotta try different things and try to yeah, grow. Absolutely, you absolutely. Yeah, very cool. I loved it. If you, uh, I, it's the colors, it's always the colors, right? This, like, yes. this one, yes. Because one, red and green two, in a combination is terrible. <laughs> so they didn't think of colorblind people when choosing those uh, red light, green light things. Uh, if you liked this video, please make sure to give me the likes to subscribe to my channel. And then directly <laughs> after, go to Paddle Playhouse and subscribe to Joe's channel, which is subscribe, great. Subscribe, yes, subscribe, it's subscribe, also nerdy, subscribe. but in a very, very different way. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Leave comments here, leave comments over there. Uh, check out the almost but not quite complete guide to songwriting available at spectroacademy.net. Also, you might want to try um, DMing me for one-on-one -on -one songwriting coaching sessions that apparently I do now. So feel free to contact me. I'm a busy, busy and far too rich person, but I might fit you in. So are you telling people to like slide into your DMs? <laughs> I don't know if it's a good like, idea. I don't know if it's a good idea. I've been trying and nothing has happened so far. <laughs> Please so, slide so into his DMs. No, no risk at the moment. <laughs> no risk at the moment. I will see you in the next video. Until then, um, uh, well, Be I you. guess we talked song. <laughs> you can talk about how, what was it? High yes. vocals now, Valeria, you're allowed to come back in now. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. I had a blast. Thank you, you so you. much. <laughs> I did too. That Amazing. Was great. Yeah, cool. Wonderful. And that's, I did, that's what three chords are.